Is your chance to get top dollar on your home in 2020 about to slip away? Today, I'm going to share some major trends developing right now that are likely to have a big impact on home sellers later in the year. Hi, it's Eva Lin, broker owner at Lin Realty Group here in Pasadena. Two things have really grabbed my attention recently. First is that last month, there was an all-time high for Google searches related to home selling. Right now, people are doing more online research and planning about selling their home than at any time in history. That's very interesting. Second is a recent poll from the National Association of Realtors, which I've linked to below. The poll shows that 47% of homeowners across the U.S. have considered selling their home over the last few months because they're worried about affording their mortgage payments. The poll also showed that 35% of homeowners either skipped or missed a mortgage payment from March to June. You can read all about it in the link I've included. Now, when you couple this with the fact that the pandemic is still affecting our economy in a huge way, mortgage forbearance is ending and foreclosure deadlines are creeping up, we start to see an interesting picture develop. Based on all these indicators, it seems reasonable that in the next few months, we might see a lot more homes coming on the market. Right now, the inventory of houses for sale in and around Pasadena is low, and it's been that way for a long time. I'm sure you also know that interest rates are historically low right now, which has encouraged home buyers to be very active since the lockdown started to lift in May. Simply put, the supply of houses is low and the demand is high. This dynamics creating a strong environment for home sellers, and I've seen it firsthand with my own clients. On Monday, escrow will close for one of my home sellers in San Rafael Hills, where they received 11 offers and their house will sell for over 100,000 above their asking price of $1.2 million. That's at 280 Malcolm Drive. I have other clients with a luxury condo on South Orange Grove asking $2.15 million. They quickly received multiple offers and accepted an all cash offer over their asking price. So sellers are in a good spot right now. On the flip side, for my home buying clients, the competition has been tough. We're constantly facing multiple offer situations and I'm pulling out every trick I know to help them come out on top. So again, the supply of houses is low and the demand for houses is high. That's today. Based on the Google search trends, the polls, the winding down of government aid, and the persisting economic strain caused by the pandemic, it seems like the supply and demand equation could start to flip, and that will have an impact on home values. Of course, nobody knows what the future holds, and I'm definitely not saying the sky is falling, but it's good to keep an eye on these signals and trends as they quickly develop right before our eyes. This year, the net amount you walk away with from your home sale is likely to be a timing issue as much as anything. So if you're somebody who's thinking of selling, the time to explore taking advantage of supply and demand is right now. If you'd like to learn more about what safely and effectively selling your home looks like this summer, you can reach me at 626-807-6581 or find me at lanerealtygroup.com. Thank you so much.